Tutorials Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today we are going to import textures that were made by Mario in Photoshop. So what we're going to do first is we'll import a texture. So and we have the textures folder here. I'm just going to click on that. So what we're going to do is right click before we do that will import force. So I'm going to go to my desktop where I have the file, select decal and decal button and I'm going to select the target file. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Okay so now that this is in, what I'm going to do is right click here and create a new material and I'm going to call that rust. is double click this which will bring up the material editor and we are just going to click and drag our decal in to the material editor there we go so what we need to do is we need to connect the top of this one into the base color and then what we need to do is select this here and change the surface to deferred decal which will change the color of it and then we need to change the background to or that's changed anyway that's fine so you can see here that it's white around the background we need that to be clear so what I'll do is I'll drag it out from here and plug that into the opacity and that should change it just give it a second I'm going to change the blend mode to translucent and then change it to a deferred decal. And there we go. So now that that's done, we're going to hit save. And I might just pause this when it's saving. Okay, so welcome back. What we're going to do now is we're going to close the material editor. We are going to go to basic. Well, we'll just type in here deferred decal. There we go. So, what we need to do is click and drag that in. Let's drop it anywhere for the time being. What we need to do is select our rust material. We're going to click and drag and drop it into the material section. Now, this is what it's going to look like. But what you need to do is use the rotate widget to bring it around. And you can see now it's starting to change. Just trying to get on. There we go. Rotate this way. Go 90 degrees. What I'll do then is I'll bring it up. Okay, so there's our decal on the wall. Uh, obviously rust isn't going to look like that, so I'm going to squash it down a little bit. I'll hit net out. Uh, auto save. Okay, we'll just pause that until it's done. Okay, that's done. So, now we can continue. Just going to spread it out. And we'll shrink it down again. So now when we bring that down, see if I go right down it will move across the bottom so just bring it up a little bit and there you go so if I right click and I play for <laughs> there's rust on the wall okay so the next thing we're going to do is we'll import another texture this time it's going to be a glass door so it's a non titleable texture and we can import the target file now what I'm going to do is create a new material again call this glass underscore door uh, door uh, new material too is mine but save yours as glass door so what I'm going to do is click the glass door material drag it into the material editor and we just connect the base color to the top and we'll collect the bottom into the normal so once you have that done this will change here and save that and then 
close material editor. <coughs> I'm just going to make sure that mine's saved there. Yeah, that's grand. So, when that saves, what you're going to do is you're going to apply that to material. All you have to do is click and drag the material onto a surface and there you go. Now what can happen is you will get this, I'll see if I can do it, there you go. If that happens all you have to do is go in here and click alignment and align surface fit and then you're done. So hit save again and then we'll move on to the last texture which is a tiled texture. Now I'm going to use a brick material for this and I'm just going to pause this while it's saving again. Now that that's saved, I can import the last material, which will be our brick texture, and I'll import both files. So we have our normal and... Oh, I'm just going to pause for a second and get the right files. Welcome back. What happened there was I had the wrong files. So I'm just going to add these two files in. So we have the brick wall and brick wall NRN, which means normal, and that's the NVIDIA plugin file. So I'm just going to have to create a new material. So. Sorry about that, my Unreal crashed. So it did save, so I have the two um, Photoshop files in here. So I'm just going to right click create new material call that brick wall underscore m just so now that we have that we'll double click that opens the material editor we will drag in the normal file and we will drag in the other file so now that that's in what we are going to do is we will connect the top picture which is the standard one into the base color we will then connect the normal file into the roughness and the bottom part of it will go into the normal so now you can see the preview here and there you go so we're just going to save that and then once that's saved we'll be able to add that to uh, surface in our game. So I'll just close this now. We have a wall over here so we'll just click that, drag and there we go. Now you can see our brick texture. it has tiled the whole surface. So that's it for this texture tutorial. Thank you for watching.